So in this video we're gonna talk about Bless Unleashed. Now I did a gameplay a few years back, but I really didn't show much of the game. I just showed the different classes and that was about it. And I don't feel like I did the game justice. And why is my face so squared? I look like a Minecraft character. But before we get to Bless Unleashed, let me give you a little story on Bless Online. When Bless Online launched, it had high expectations. However, it was met with significant criticism for a variety of reasons. The gameplay mechanics were criticized for being repetitive. The combat system in particular failed to offer innovation and excitement. Then we go to the technical issues. Players were experienced frequent bugs server instabilities and performance problems. Now about the monetization, some people argue it was pay to win, some people argue it wasn't, it just depends on the person. I personally cannot say for sure because I haven't played Bless Online. Now I wanted to do this video because I wanted to see what's the current state of Bless Unleashed and to actually experience the game a bit more before I give it a final judgment. So without being said, let's go ahead and start the video. All right, let's see if there are any changes. I still have my two characters over there. It's a low population server, which kind of worries me. Wait, what's quick play? How do you have quick play in an MMORPG? Oh, I think it just spawns you with the character you've had before. I really don't know why that's an option. All right, let's make another character. All right, some of you that have watched my videos, you already know the classes. Let me show you how they look really quick. So you got a Crusader, Berserker, Ranger. You got the Mage, Assassin. I don't think Assassin was a thing back then. You got a Priest. Okay, I really want to play an assassin. Uh, well, you can only be elf. It can be a male or a female. Let's go with the male. His head movement is so awkward. Looks like he's possessed. Okay, you got a bunch of presets. Let's just do a preset character and let's go into the game. There we go. I think it's the same starting area with every character. Alright, so at the training stage, you're level 40. So, I'm guessing the max level is level 40. I like the animations of the combat, but it kind of feels stiff. It just doesn't feel as fluid as you would expect. Oh. So number three hides me in a shadow. What does number four do? That's pretty cool. I gotta be honest, it's more fun than the sorcerer. And this comes from a guy who loves mages. So you dodge with space. I like how responsive the dodge is. Here we go. Giant boss battle. I got stealth if I press C. So if I go in the back, do I do more damage? Well, I think I did a crit. Come on, get up. Go, 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 go. Run. Hit him in the butt. There we go. Play single player story prologue or recommend it for new players. Nope. All right, we're back in the main location. Yep, this is where every class starts. I'm going to leave this place someday. It would be nice if their mouths actually move. Did I shut off the music or something? I don't hear any soundtracks. Let me see. Settings, audio. Oh, I did. Let's kill some wolves. Oh, they do spawn really quick. I just killed them and they just spawned again. I'm going to leave this place someday. Yeah, you said that the first time. I think I got some boots. There we go. You got some visual progression. I don't have much to say. Well, that's very helpful. <laughs> I'm kind of getting Black Desert vibes. This is what the game reminds me of. Oh, wait, there's someone here. There he is. Let's help him out. <sighs> Ouch, this thing hurts. Is this like an elite mob? Oh my God, careful. Oh boy, I think I'm stunned. There you go. Dodge. Stay away from him. I think as long as we dodge, we should be fine. Close. Oh, he died! Nice. Got him. Why am I still level 1 and fighting level 3s? There we go, level 2. Do they even care to attack you? Look at him, he's just standing there. He's not even hitting me. I get a skill point. Let's upgrade the skills. Oh, hold on. Mount merchant? I can get a mount from here. Any chance of discounts? Sorry, no discounts. Why do I even have the option for it? Oh, never mind. He's just here to tease me. I have 500 gold. Well, 600 almost. 
Is there always gonna interrupt my gameplay to show me the new area like that? Wow, look at this. The whole area is empty. And now it's not empty anymore. So I see there's a chest over here, but there's no way I can get it. Unless I jump from somewhere and end up on the top. Because you don't have a jump button. You just have space, which obviously you just dodge with it. Well, so it looks like we defeated the pirates and now we unlock this new area. So I see some people, they're talking in the chat, but I don't see them here in the game. You won't be able to see anyone in the low level areas. Everyone's just max level. My question is, can you get to max level only by following the main story? He looks familiar. I've seen him somewhere. It's a me, Mario! Nice, level 3. Is that a player? Why is he in red? I don't think I was here before or in my previous gameplay. I think this is a completely different experience. And now for some NPCs you don't have voice acting at all. It sounds like they stopped caring about them. One they don't see oh, never mind. Now he has voice acting. I guess only the important characters have voice acting. Are these NPCs the same? Look at this. This is a joke. How am I supposed to have fun when even the NPCs don't want to play the game? Can you pick up the thing? There you go. Oh, I think I have a new blade. Well, I gotta give it to the game. At least it gives you some visual progression. Oh, wait, what? Somehow I have 9,000 gold. And now I can afford a mount. Purchase. There we go. I'll press X. Gotcha. Nice. Here's a mount. I think I might be a little bit under leveled. Because everyone here is level 6 and I'm level 4. But honestly, I don't think that matters. It would be nice if I, I can lock into my target. Oh my god. I got 10 seconds to my potions. Nope. Come on, two, one. There we go. Come on, use the skill. There we go. Oh, it's a boss. I see. That makes sense. And we got level five. Oh, we got a chest piece. Finally, I'm not naked. Oh yes, the classic quests. We gotta kill some boars. At least it's nice to see that the horse has his own stamina bar and it doesn't use mine. Yeah, I think I, they pretty much changed the whole leveling experience. From what I remember from the previous video, I don't think I was here before. Although, to be fair, I didn't play the game much. I, I think I just showed the different classes and that was it. The combat honestly doesn't feel very exciting. It's not even fluent. It feels very stiff and as you can see, whenever I use my auto attack or use a skill, I'm locked in place and I can't even move. Oh, level 7. I think I got a new dagger too. And let me not forget my skills, I gotta level them too. I'm already level 7, so let me just unlock the backstab. Sometimes when I click the mouse to auto attack, my character doesn't want to do it, which is kind of weird. So I don't know if it only happens to me or you guys experienced it too. Oh nice, I think there was supposed to be voice acting here, but I guess they gave up. So there's matchmaking. Oh, I can see here, so you can put up to 5 matchmakings at a time. So if you want to do it solo, you need the quest for it. Start matchmaking. I don't know if I'll find someone, but let's give it a shot. So I'm getting a lot of main daggers, but secondary, I'm, I just have only two. All right, let's teleport. Use gold. Well, that was quick. No animation or nothing. It just teleports you right away. This menu looks like it was made for a console and not a PC because it's very controller friendly. I was expecting something different for a mouse and a keyboard. I want to check out the shop really quick. Of course, you have the bundles. Upgrade fruit. What does that mean? A magical fruit that can increase the success rate of pet upgrade. Unless the pet is something that's not combat related, then it's not pay to win, but you know how these games are now. What's going on here? Why Why is this amount? I'm gonna ride a... I don't, I don't think I can even say it for YouTube. And the outfits are not anything crazy. I don't know. I don't think these things are worth buying. Okay, I might just give up looking for a dungeon because I don't think it's gonna happen. How do you drop a quest? There's no option for it. What happens if you get a bugged quest and you can't even cancel it to pick it up again? Oh, I see. I gotta do this one first. It's called Mark of the Wolf. I'm confused. Are those players or... Oh, it looks like AI. There you go. Alright, I got one of the marks, I just need the other one too. My, my question about the stealth is... Do you stay in stealth until you remove it? Or it has a cooldown? 
Well, question asked and answered. But the thing is that you can go in stealth even if you're in combat. Ouch, that hurts. Well, I think as long as I don't stay in front of it, it should be fine. Oh, come on. So, how do I recover health? It doesn't seem to regenerate by itself. Okay, so I'm eating food. And obviously that gives me health. I think someone's fighting it. Alright. Let's help him out. I think we got very lucky that someone was already here. There we go. Okay, let's go to the altar. Wait, hold on. So the horse can jump, but you can't. It's very, very strange. I just discovered how to jump. You jump with control. I don't know why they would make you jump with control, but forget everything I said about the jump. Because I was looking at my horse, and I was like, since the horse can jump with control, can I do it? And then I found out, yes, you can. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. Honestly, I just don't feel like playing anymore. It just doesn't feel exciting. Even the combat doesn't feel great. So thank you so much for watching anyway. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.